Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're building the brand new Percall kit from Befaco. Percall is the new member of the Kickall family. It's basically four percussion oriented envelope generators with CV decay and four VCAs in just 12 HP. There's a volume control for each channel and four outputs. Any outputs you don't patch get mixed into output number four, so it's also a mixer. Percall has individual envelope outputs too, so you can use them as pitch envelopes for your percussion voices, for example. There are also two choke switches, one for each pair of channels. The inputs are normalized, so you can plug a source into channel one and it'll also be used on channel two. And there's an overall strength CV input, which affects the envelope amplitude on all channels at once. Great for designing a dynamic curve to your beat. You can send a voltage sequencer output to it and fine tune your accents. This thing is the perfect pair for my Euclidean circles. In the kit baggie, you get all of the hardware and electronic components needed to complete the build, as well as the nice black panel and the two PCBs attached together. Do not detach them yet. You'll see why when you have a look at the build manual. I started by checking and labeling the resistors and diodes, then proceeded to mount them and solder them all from the top. That way I only needed to turn the boards over once to clip the leads and check the soldering. Now you can detach the boards and position the IC sockets. There are quite a few of them. I like to use the panel to hold the sockets in place while I turn the whole thing around to solder. Then I solder diagonally opposing pins on each socket first to hold them in place before I solder up all of the remaining pins. Next I installed the bypass capacitors followed by the nice red Wima caps and the remaining ceramics. The electrolytic capacitors, minding their polarity of course. Then came the transistors. Make sure not to mix them up and follow the orientation on the silk screen. Snap on the ICs, minding their orientation carefully. Now place the Mailcom headers on the control board, making sure they are very straight, then solder them on. I like to hold the header with my finger and solder the corner pins to make sure it's straight. Just try not to burn your finger. Now is a good time to clip all of the component leads underneath where the faders will go. This is to ensure nothing shorts to the fader chassis. If you have to fix this later, removing the faders is a royal pain. I actually even did the same to the leads underneath the jacks. It looked to me like they would keep the jacks from seating snugly against the PCB. Make sure you reflow the solder on the pads where you've clipped down the leads. Here go the female headers on the main board. These you can hold and solder with no fear of burning fingers. Solder them on and the power header as well. Now attach the metal hex spacer and start assembling the panel components. The sliders go on first. Snap them on straight and solder them on. Then go on to the pots, jacks, switches and LEDs, but don't solder these yet. First fit them through the panel hose and finger tighten some of the nuts. Then push the LEDs through their hose on the panel. Now you can solder everything up. Cut off the LED leads and finish tightening the banner nuts. Black for inputs and red for the outputs. Push in the fader and pot knobs and you're done. Just check the power header for shorts and plug it into test. 
Make sure you check out DivKit's awesome demo of the Per Call, as well as his live stream with Befaco. And I will publish a demo soon featuring Per Call in context with the new Arturia Key Step Pro and the Magella 4 Voice Polyphonic MIDI to CV converter. So stay tuned. See you soon and stay noisy.